Hi everyone, welcome to Asami Rat Care. So today's video is going to be on um, one of my favourite topics, which is digging. It's a continuation of this um, 12 days of enrichment theme we've got going on at the moment. Um, looking at one of the more important natural behaviours um, for rats. Well, more important, they're probably all fairly equally important. I think I see that, say that every day. Um, I have looked at digging before in the past, particularly around enrichment feeding last year's event, and actually basically a lot of my substrate series as well. Um, and that's because it is quite an important topic and one that I think that um, rats often miss out on. We tend to satisfy most of their natural behaviours just kind of like with a decent cage setup, but it sometimes takes a little bit more thinking to get proper digging into um, any session. Um, so what I'm going to kind of talk around is some of the ideas where we can get that um, in a variety of different cage types. Um, so to start off with, we've got um, visiting the baby girls cage um, today. And I'm visiting them in particular because I think everybody is fairly familiar. And in fact, yesterday's video looked at some of the burrows that my girls have got going on in their cage, which has got like a massive full base digging box effectively. Um, and that's not realistic for most people. And I didn't want, want to set that as kind of like the minimum expectations um, because it, it's not it's not realistic. So what I've actually got in the baby's cages, and I like to offer them this from quite a young age, um, is just a little digging tray here. So let's um, get up and get a closer look. Right, so what we've got here is basically just a washing up tub. Um, I had this going spare in the house. It's not an ideal digging box. Uh, sorry, I'm getting got from the babies um, who are swarming me at the moment. Yeah, so it's not an ideal digging box in that um, it's open top. So what we do get every morning is um, a little bit of, there's not very much out today, but a little bit of stuff being kicked out as they dig in it. And, and that's absolutely fine um, for me. I just give it a bit of a sweep up. Um, the rat room suits that. I would say that if you want to do this properly in cage, then you want to be getting a, a box with a lid and ideally a bit taller than this. Um, but it does depend on cage size. And that's partly why I use it in here because it's quite a small digging box. I don't mind the mess too much um, because I can just kind of look after it that way. And it, it works well, giving them a the chance to dig, um, which is something that they very much enjoy. So, um, Basically, all I've got in there is I've got cocoa soil. Um, if you're interested in that, if you have a look at my cocoa, my bioactive substrate video that I did fairly recently, it's in the kind of substrate series, if you can find the playlists. Um, and it'll talk a little bit about how to make that work, um, how to try and make it bioactive, because if you can make it bioactive, it will last um, indefinitely <laughs> or for a good long time, um, and how to care for soil. But I should say digging does not need to just be um, soil. It can be a number of different things. Um, so when we're talking about digging, what we're talking about is the rats getting in with um, their kind of paws and feet and shoveling stuff around. So what I'll do at the end of this is I'll put on a little bit of a video of um, one of the boy babies actually that have gone gone back up to Lovecraft um, digging in just normal substrate in a mini cage when he was meant to be traveling uh, um, making a lovely mess uh, in, in the process but he was properly digging and he was just digging in wood shavings um, and that's something to bear in mind so as well as kind of your typical digging box you can actually do a number of other things um, in your cage so I would always have that, well, if you can, I would always try and have a digging box. Um, it doesn't have to be filled up with soil, it can be filled with anything. But actually, you can... I'll try and open this. There's probably going to be an explosion, and I may have to then try and close this, but we'll see how it goes. Hey, girls. Come on. Yes, yes, you're beautiful and cute. Let's not escape. So what you can also do is actually simply by having just kind of shavings of substrate in there, Put in a good la deep layer of shavings and they will still be able to dig in that. They may not be able to dig as deep, they might not be able to form burrows um, and kind of proper holes because kind of wood shavings don't hold their own in quite the same way but actually it's a really good option um, and I would say at minimum every cage should have a good deep layer of substrate um, it makes all the difference um, and it goes down really well with the rats. Um, I'll move you out a little bit. But that's probably what I would call the minimum kind of option in terms of um, digging. And then if you can add a digging box, that's really good as well. Right, so I'm going to try and contain these holes. They're actually pretty more likely to get them out. Um, oops, don't fall. And then um, we'll see what we can do on free range area in terms of digging for them. And it's not going to feature soil. <laughs> so let's see how we go. 
Right, so we're now on the free range area and what we're going to look at is how we can um, get the most out of digging from a free range point of view. And as I said, it's not going to um, use any soil or earth. And that is because I think people can get a little bit kind of convinced that that's the only way to do digging. But actually any kind of substrate or um, material that rats can kind of properly get in there, get under, can kind of kick around and shuffle around and such, is really valuable. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to, to look at just making a little free range digging box. And that's what I've got here. So basically all I've got here is um, a show tank. So I'll lift you up so you can have a bit of a look. It's just basically a plastic box. Um, it's got a bit of a mesh lift lid, which I've half opened, um, half shut to try and keep some of the stuff in there. And basically all I've done is filled it with hay. Now I've chosen hay because um, I like to offer the babies things that they haven't really experienced very much before. And whilst they've had hay in a nesting kind of context, they've never had a deep layer of it like this. So it's basically trying new things and, I tr and I'll probably change it up and next time I might be using shredded paper and um, I use that quite a bit in kind of digging boxes or fleece scraps because I've got a load of those from somebody that makes hammocks that um, gave me some and the thing with this is all I've basically done is stuffed it full of hay um, which they're already kind of digging through I, I had one go about filming this video and forgot to press record so otherwise you'd have seen them go in there and I've sprinkled a handful of um, food in there and the idea with the food is that they um, it motivates them to have a good kind of dig around. So I'm going to take you off of this for a sec and show you um, a bit of a close up of what's going on. Right, so you can see in there we have rats in various stages of kind of digging. You've got like a little, a couple little bums there hiding in the in the hay, and you've got. Um, basically a lot of kind of fun going on they're quite enjoying this as they're kind of going through jumping in jumping out um digging down there's definitely a little tail in farming in a burrow there now hay is quite good because the way the hay stalks tangle together means it holds tunnels fairly well until it gets too compacted down um which is one of the reasons why i quite like like using it so we have um, a couple of the babies arguing with each other um always worry <laughs> They've now all decided they want to join in this video. <laughs> You're meant to be digging, not playing. Um, but yes, so this basically shows the kind of thing you can do on free range. It's not complicated. Um, it's not anything that um, needs specialist equipment. I had a show tank free. You could have a cardboard box free, especially after Christmas. Um, you could have a load of wrapping paper to tear off and put in it. Um, you can genuinely basically use your imagination. Try mixing different substrates and see how you get with that. Um, and, and they will basically enjoy anything if you can give them something a bit of motivation like the food um, does generally help with that um, but yes the, it's it's something that's very easy to do both in the cage and out um, you could put something like this in the cage as well um, it's entirely up to you it depends you have to think about how much space things take up in the cage because you do want to offer them other other types of um, enrichment as well but yes so that's really it from me. Digging, I think I've not gone into massive depths because I've covered digging quite a few times before, but I can't do a video on enhancing natural behaviours and not do digging because it's like really fundamental for me. Um, so I will say um, over and out from me and little babies and um, we'll let them continue digging and I might rescue some who have wedged themselves behind the digging box because they're babies and have to get things places they're not meant to be. <laughs> so bye for now.